Fisher stays welded to his saddle and welded to the back wheel of the Colombian star. Pogacar's got to attack to take that. Pogacar attacks. Who can respond? Pogacar goes. And, uh, well, Van Van Aert knows he's got to do this again. And he's not going to be able to just jump out of the saddle. So Almeida is in pursuit of... Is it Land or is it Bilbao? Thomas sees his lead over Tadej Pogacar immediately around him. And Tadej Pogacar just jumps up there. But what about Joe Almeida? On stage four, Torino Adriatico. It's going to go the way of the Slovenian. It's going to go the way of the man who was the pre event favourite. And now he is the winner of stage four. Pagatra gets the victory. And the clock will start to run. We win. All together, we win. Fair. Oh, problems for uh, Pagacha, the overall race leader. Now, interesting situation is he unships the chain, and that was uh, clearly from big ring to little ring, and it just. And, you know, you wonder if there wasn't a chain catcher there. Good to see that there is at least a member of the public, and there aren't too many out there at the moment. He... Feeling the pain, and here comes Pogacar to drive a knife into the ambitions of others, and Wout van Aert's not able to instantly respond to that one. Pogacar senses the opportunity to ram home his advantage and put the issue beyond doubt ahead of Tuesday's time trial. And who's going to be able to respond to that one? Well, Wout van Aert is first has first option at it, but he's uh, still got a bit of daylight between himself and Pogacar. He's getting the news from behind, but Pogacar's in the same shot. 